It's been pretty difficult to scroll through Instagram and not see a meme that features Ed from 90 Day Fiance. But it seems that Ed is in a whole lot of trouble right now because, well, a TikTok user is accusing him of sexual harassment. What's gravy potatoes? You are watching IO. I'm Charlotte Del Rey. On this channel, we tell you about what's trending so you can seem really cool and informed to your friends. Subscribe and turn on the bell so you're the first to know what the internet is talking about and follow us on social media. All our links are posted down below in the description. So uh, when I first saw pictures of Ed on social media, I was like, who is this? this guy. He's everywhere. His face has become pretty infamous at this point. If you haven't seen 90 Day Fiance, here's a summary. 90 Day Fiance is a reality series that follows couples who have applied for or received a K-1 visa, which is a specific type of visa for foreign fiancés of U.S. citizens. The couple has 90 days to marry each other, and during that time, they make arrangements for the ceremony. The show is pretty successful, and it's been renewed through its seventh season. Enter Big Ed, which is this season's breakout star, and he's been pretty controversial to say the least. Other 90 Day Fiance stars have spoken out against him. People like Tim Malcolm and Larissa Lima. Ed Brown has a bit of a reputation on the show of being a... I mean, a bit of a perv. Ever since he gave his girlfriend, Rosemary Vega, a creepy, creepy foot massage. After a fight, Ed offers to give Rosemary a foot massage to make it up to her. They go back to his hotel room. While he does this, he asks her questions and then asks if he can kiss her. Rosemary hesitates, but gives him a soft peck on the lips. I know many of you have seen this scene, but just know if you haven't, it's, it's uncomfortable. I was a little uncomfortable. After that episode aired, viewers took to social media to warn Rosemary to get the hell away from Ed. There's a massive age gap between them. Ed is 54 and Rosemary is 23. Now onto the accusations. A TikTok user who goes by Lordiki or Lolo's World made videos about someone who she claims harassed her for nine months. Here is a screenshot. The moment of finding out the guy who sexually harassed me for nine months has moved on to his next victim. She added that she wanted to speak up, but she signed an NDA. She also said that she's gone through years of therapy because of this. She then revealed who he was. That video was posted on April 17th. On April 22nd, she said that she decided to confront Ed. Ed hasn't responded to any of the accusations at the time of this writing. Fans want proof and are wondering how this person even knows Ed. She said that they knew each other because they used to work together, but that was pretty much all she said. In another TikTok posted on April 28th, she reiterated that she couldn't say anything because she signed an NDA. As always guys, keep in mind, innocent until proven guilty. Neither Ed nor 90 Day Fiance have responded to this, but here are some reactions on Twitter. Just found out that Big Ed, AKA No Neck Ed, sexually harassed and assaulted several women, and I'm not surprised or shocked. Has his media manager sent him this? This lady is ballsy. He's probably probably gonna sue her if she can't prove anything. Wouldn't be surprising if he was a perv. And this is how you want to bring it to the public. This is dumb. I def believe it, but just tell us. Don't make a TikTok. I will admit that it is kind of a weird thing to put on TikTok. It's a huge accusation to make, especially without any evidence. That being said, she did say that she violated a non-disclosure agreement and she put her face in the video. So if it is true, then she's pretty brave. As I said, innocent until proven guilty. But if this woman is telling the truth, then I mean, that's terrible. <laughs> and I respect her for doing something like this. Since the show, Rosemary has taken to social media to accuse Ed of being a liar and not taking care of her and her son like he said he would. She said this in an Instagram video that is now deleted. Ed hasn't revealed if they are still together or not. Based on the photos Rosemary is showing, she is not with Ed in quarantine. What do you think about these accusations? Let me know down in the comments. Because this is rather a serious topic, I am not going to be responding to comments at the end of this video. But if you wanna keep watching IO, there will be a playlist flashing on your screen for you when I'm done talking in just a few seconds and yeah subscribe so I can see you next time